Well, in Sonomish County, despite their intimidating name, killer whales are making waves with their recent acts of kindness. A new study explores how orcas are forming unique human connections. Gwen Baumgartner is in Edmonds to explain what these orcas are doing. From beneath the shimmering surface, the ocean's apex predator. There's no real cost for them to come in and, and check us out. And, and so they don't hesitate to if they want to. Researcher Jared Towers recently led a study exploring a series of polite yet puzzling interactions, orcas attempting to share their food with humans. Here you can see one attempt to offer its meal, the orca then taking it back when left untouched. There are some cases where the killer whales have been very insistent. And after dropping the, the item in front of people, if people didn't respond, they would pick it up again and and offer it to them again. Just another example of whales keeping people on their toes. Tower says examples of this, orcas attacking boats, are them being curious and playful. They're fun to watch, they look really cool, and they're just really fascinating animals. Bart Rulon has been photographing and studying orcas for decades. He believes the more we know about killer whales, the more we can do to protect them. I think they're probably similarly curious to us as we are to them. Researchers agree, concluding that offering prey could be an orca's way to learn about, manipulate, or develop relationships with us. I think because killer whales are very aware and conscious of what's going on in their environment, and I think they have a desire to understand it. Continuing to share food with those who share their waters. Gwen Baumgartner, CBS News, Edmonds, Washington. While it's still rare to see an orca offer food to humans, they often share within their pods.